Hi there, everybody. Uh, I'm going to read the story Jump, um, which you will need to do um, some of your work this week. I rub the goosebumps on my arms as a kid struts to the end of the diving board. He gives a friend on the ground the thumbs up and launches into a cannonball. Boing! Splash! He comes up laughing. See, Taylor, I tell myself, it's easy. It's fun. Four kids to go until my turn. The front of the line, a girl in a pink suit giggles with her friend. Go, my brother Travis yells to them. Let's jump together, pink girl tells her friend. The gigglers reach the sixth rung of the ladder before the lifeguard whistles. Just one at a time, she shouts. Pink girl goes on alone, slowly. Will she change her mind, like I did last week? Will the lifeguard have to help her down the ladder while everyone stares? In front of me, Travis hops around like a monkey. Pink girl jumps, her hair shooting out like a parachute. Splash! Three kids to go. Travis steps on my foot. Watch it, I snap. Sorry. He moves away, just as pink girl's friend does a first-class belly flop. My brother's face lights up. Did you see that? I don't answer. Only two kids to go. My stomach bubbles like a pot of oatmeal on the stove. You don't have to do this, I tell myself. But next week is the pool party, my brain argues. You'll be the only one who can't go on the diving board. The board clunks, and a girl dives gracefully into the pool. Life is so unfair. Travis is next. He scampers up the ladder and waves his skinny arms. Watch this! I close my eyes, then open them just in time to see him hop off the end of the board. He pops out of the water, grinning. I can't help smiling, too. Nothing scares that kid. The boy behind me taps my shoulder. It's my turn. I count the rungs as I climb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Blue water stretches out in front of me. Kids are shooting off the water slide at the other end of the pool. A boy runs across the concrete. A lifeguard blows her whistle at him. Everywhere, everyone is moving, except me. What are you waiting for, demands a kid on the ground. I step forward. The water looks so far away. Then I see Travis standing by the lifeguard's chair, shivering. His eyes lock on mine. You can do it, he yells. That's what I've always told him when he was learning to tie his shoes or write his name or ride his bike without training wheels. You can do it. I take a deep breath and step out into nothing. My body drops. My stomach rises. Then my toes slice the water and I plunge deep. I flap my arms and pull myself to the surface where my face finds the sun. I did it! Travis is doing a happy dance. I climb out dripping. Hey, I said like I've been doing this forever. Let's go again.